Hey guys, Andy Glass here, Glass Impressions. Today we're going to walk you through a uh, very cool video, unscripted. I'm just talking off the cuff here. And it is a job for a client that is taking their original, very first truck on their farmstead. Uh, they salvaged the doors off them when they parted it out or sold it. And they commissioned me to make a coffee table with these doors. So what I decided to do was dismantle the doors, make them as flat as possible, and then use some one inch square tubing, um, kind of thin medium walled tubing, and get it nice cut up into a strategic design using a dry cutting saw as you see here. I'm going to weld on some plates uh, for the bottom for some leveling feet that we'll install later and going to grind all those welds nice and flush um, to present a nice and clean project at uh, the time of delivery. With everything ready to go, all the parts cut to size, I use some magnetic squares and a aluminum square and I tack everything in place on the corner joint. I do all four legs and I use a tape measure, get the table frame nice and squared up before I weld everything nice and solid. I should note here that I am no welder. Uh, welding is something that I picked up, uh, taught myself, uh, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, just learning as I go. And I will be the first to admit that the grinder is my absolute best friend at getting something presentable for a client. Now with the main frame all welded up, I need to add a support uh, below the top and that is going to provide a depth for the truck doors to sit in, basically making a shadow box. Once those are all welded in place, I want to put a lower support down there, not so much for strength or anything, obviously this is a steel frame, but it's something that aesthetically adds to the look of the piece, it kind of completes the design. Here I have a threaded foot with a rubber bottom on there, placing the nut in the hole and uh, welding it in place. With the metalworking done, we can go ahead and focus on the woodworking portion of this. I bought some reclaimed material from my local uh, timber supply company in there that kind of specializes in this stuff and basically just running it over the uh, joiner here and then coming back to the table saw and cutting it to the width of the shadow box. And then once uh, I get it cut to width, I then bring it over to the miter saw, cut it to length through each individual um, section of the frame to make a really nice snug piston fit that uh, won't move anywhere and will fill all the gaps. Once it's all cut to length and width here, we can go back to the metal frame and get a nice snug fit, test each piece. I go back and forth to the table saw and the miter saw probably three or four times for each piece just to make sure um, I get that perfect snug fit. If you'll notice these wood pieces actually set in a little bit to each of the cavities and I think that brings a nice shadow line, another uh, degree of depth to the project that really brings it to the next level. Back to the miter saw with some reclaimed lumber and we are going to cut a whole bunch of uh, the same length boards for the bottom. We're going to put them all in place and then once they're in place we can focus on the corners because of the legs we need to um, notch out that last board on each side and I'm using my uh, woodpecker's rule here to notch that board out. Now all these boards are tongue and groove so they get a nice uh, interlocking fit, nice pressure fit there and then once that board's in place I can mark it cut it to length and then drop it and snap it into place. With all those boards in there I come back with a little bit of brush on polyurethane and cover up the end grain just to seal it and then also bring the color match uh, to the top. Back at the table saw I cut a few strips of uh, hardboard here and these hardboard sections are going to get painted black and line the top of the shadow box just to get everything nice and dark so you can't see through any of the gaps and it makes a nice contrast to the truck doors. Back at the actual cabinet itself for the coffee table using some liquid adhesive here out of the caulking gun and then attaching those strips you'll see at the very bottom is a large section of uh, that masonite that's painted black just to add a really nice depth of contrast and make it really dark inside the case. Now I lost some footage here of you know finalizing it I had a piece of glass cut for the top and then inset the doors here and I absolutely love how this thing turned out it's rustic 
slick it's modern it brings a lot of history to the piece with the truck doors um, i love the glass top i love the contrast between the wood and metal and the client is absolutely floored with the results uh, as am i now i hope you guys love this project i hope you love the progress i'm uh, working on bringing some more videos back in 2020 so if you guys can do me a favor smash that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified of all my future uploads and I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.